coast to coast, dust to dawn. Site path is on the move. Mile after mile, all year long. Site path is on the move. Our 200 employees travel 3 million miles a year. To help our customers provide quality care. Close to home. All we do is eyes. All day. Every day. Every day. Join the movement. The largest national membership association of ophthalmologists in conjunction with the European Society of Ophthalmology are in Chicago for the AAO annual meeting. This is where all eye care professionals open the way to new thinking. You're watching AAO TV. TV. I'm Rachel Kopchak reporting from the largest exhibition of ophthalmic products, services, and technology in the world. A terrific meeting. We're expecting probably in the neighborhood of 25,000 people here. Uh, we had for the very first time a uh, ocular oncology and pathology, so specialty day, for example. Dr. Hans Gross Nicholas is giving the Jackson Memorial Lecture on Sunday morning on retinoblastoma. We've had a number of guest lecturers, including a lecture by Dr. Uh, by Dr. and Senator Rand Paul, who's the only ophthalmologist serving in Congress right now. With so many great lectures on the agenda, attendees are looking forward to a productive week. And the exhibition here is, is huge and it's amazing for us uh, to see something different and um, to look at what in the United States is state of the art. There's always something new. There are always patients who have diseases I haven't encountered. There is new equipment, there's new technology, there are new epidemiological studies. The opportunity to learn more about my craft, you know, to be a better ophthalmologist, to, to help patients and uh, treat their diseases better. It's a little bit of everything, kind of running into some colleagues from years ago and hearing how their practices are going and some of the new changes with the health system. It's interesting to see how they're being implemented in, in uh, other practices around the world, around the world and, and the country. So that's primarily what I'm interested in as well, the, the networking part of it. Retina specialists are reaching new heights at the Retina Subspecialty Day. This is where experts share new clinical and investigative information through interactive presentations, panel discussions, and audience response polling. Some of the groundbreaking research centered around artificial retinas. You know, I don't think at this point we're that close to replacing you know, the entire retina with any artificial um, you know, implant. What they have available now is pretty rudimentary, but I think it still makes an impact in people's lives that it received the implants. The digital age has made it nearly impossible to be well rested. As a result, the health of our brain suffers. This session, led by Dr. Andrew Doan, provided simple advice to restore brain health. Fuel it, use it, and rest it. Dr. Doan tackled myths that affect brain health, including the use of video games, explaining that video games actually spark the creative, problem-solving part of the human brain when played in doses. Games are like digital drugs, and so they can actually enhance hand-eye coordination, help with depression, anxiety, enhance memory, um, also provide even burn uh, treatment uh, pain control. So we use, for example, video games as a pain management before surgery in children. We give them an iPad game and it's equivalent to 10 milligrams of midazolam and you can actually wheel the child back with a video game all the way to the surgical ward and they don't even know what's going on and you can put them in, under sedation without any medic medications. Um, so there's a lot of benefits to, me to, to video games. Hot topics, hot sessions. AAO 2014 is your one-stop shop to enhance your knowledge and expand your practice management skills. The United States is one of the last countries to convert to ICD-10. Other countries use ICD-10 to track codes for diseases, signs and symptoms, and other codes that permit tracking for diagnosis. Currently, the United States ICD-10 is linked to payment. The U.S. will eventually have to adopt ICD-10 to communicate with the rest of the world. The best tip that I can give you is to don't rely on any quick cut, shortcut. Don't rely solely on your EHR. Don't rely on a gem mapping equivalent. The best thing to do is learn the core fundamentals yourself. And there are some nuances from ICD-10. Get the ICD-10 book and we're so fortunate that in ophthalmology we are the only ones 
to have an ophthalmology specific ICD-10 book, no other specialty in medicine has that, and begin reading the tabular list. You will read it like a novel and highlight those codes that those diagnoses you perform most in your office and that will give you a flair for what's the intended. In the beginning of the book, it also has all of the nuances, the specific differences from ICD-9 and also what is in common with ICD-9. The Academy is proud to showcase one of its biggest initiatives in recent years, the IRIS, or Intelligent Research in Sight Registry. It was designed by ophthalmologists for ophthalmologists and is the nation's first comprehensive eye disease clinical registry. You can find easy to interpret benchmark reports, access to clinically relevant data on diseases, quality measurement solutions, and automated data collection. The potential for this is, is enormous. Uh, we will be able to get more and more granular with our measures. We'll have a way of doing research within the um, aggregate data in a way that transforms how quickly we get some of the important information for research purposes, what's, what's effective, what's not effective, uh, the proper patient populations to study. It really can transform how quickly we get new innovation out to patients. Vehicle wherein ophthalmologists can take maximal advantage of CMS payment bonuses and avoidance of penalties, which is going to have a significant financial impact. You can sign up for the registry on aao.org with your Academy ID. Google Glass is making its mark in the industry. Ophthalmologists can benefit from Google Glass for its wide field use to record surgical features. The Glass can store procedures and record surgical explanations that can be shared with other practices. So being able to operate on a patient and get that wide field view, you get the sense of how the patient is positioned, how the head is positioned, how the surgeon is operating and how they're holding devices and tools. Um, especially endosco endoscopy. Um, but on the other hand, with intraocular surgery, a lot of people already have um, operating microscopes that record video, but we lose the sense of the, of the more wide picture. And with something like Google Glass or something with a more wide field view, you can see, again, hand positioning and, and um, how the overall picture is of the surgery. AAO 2014 is continuing to open the way to new thinking and engage ophthalmologists.